Hi, everybody. So, I am just mixing my epoxy. I'm about to um, get finished on a group of tumblers that need to go out soon. Um, I'm mixing medium velocity from CCDIY. This is part B and part A. Um, of course, equal parts, 20 milliliters. I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six tumblers. So this should be enough because it's thin. And this will be the final coat. And anytime I do a final coat, I add uh, a scented additive. I bought this on Etsy. The seller is amazing. It's vanilla scented. So once the epoxy dries, it leaves this nice vanilla scent. All right. So I usually mix for three to five minutes if I'm doing it by hand. I don't really care about the bubbles because I just blow torch them out. So we're gonna move over here to my tumblers. And the work time for the CC DIY that I use is usually 30 to um, 45 minutes. So it's a pretty good work time. I actually made um, a new tumbler and I was afraid to do it because the CC DIY is uh, the medium viscosity. It's like really thin. Um, but I made this. Uh, it's a Ghostbusters slime cup. And the, th the part that I was afraid of was doing the slime, but it took maybe like uh, 45 minutes to an hour for it to start to harden up. And then I could apply the drip. So it worked out pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so I guess I'll just talk about the tumblers as I go along. So this first one here is a uh, frozen themed tumbler and this is the last coat of epoxy for it before I send it out and I usually give it a couple days because I like it to harden completely also in Pennsylvania it's been in the 90s plus we actually just got over a heat advisory so I want to make sure that it hardens completely before I put it in the mail uh, that's another thing to keep in mind if you have ordered a cup for me or are in going to order a cup please make sure that you keep your cup out of the sun as well as pets and people <laughs> just throwing that out there so when I first started making tumblers maybe like uh, what is this July so seven months ago um, I used to do the one finger method. It's cool, but as time went on, like I found myself this weird obsession of like touching the cup and making sure that the epoxy covers every inch of this cup. There's a couple reasons. Um, one reason is just because I like the way the epoxy feels underneath my hand on the cup. Number one, it's kind of weird, I know. Next, we'll move on. Second reason is because sometimes um, if you clean your epoxy with uh, alcohol before you put the coat of um, epoxy down and you miss a spot, then when it dries, there'll be a missing spot and you can feel it and you can actually see it if you turn it slightly to the side. I don't have any cups that have that issue, not to toot my own horn, but if I could show you, I would. It's really clear on like a white cup background. So this cup here is my Disney themed fan collage tumbler. Very, 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 very popular. Very popular. Let me say it again. Very popular. <laughs> very popular. I've made a lot of these cups. I can understand. I love Disney too. Um, 
this is not the last coat of this one. This one needs a personalization. And then it will be done. But I'm giving it another coat. Man, love applying the fancy. All right, so this next tumbler is also a Disney collage tumbler, as I mentioned earlier. Definitely one of my favorites and a very popular item in my Etsy shop. If you would like one of your own to be personalized, um, you can go to glitteronpurposeco.com and purchase one for yourself. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, Glitter on Purpose Co. You can DM me with any questions. I also have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is, of course, Glitter on Purpose Co. Feel free to reach out and ask me any questions. I can say for a fact that my my favorite tumblers are the freehand ones, the customization ones where I can just do whatever, like this one. This one was very fun to do using colors that I don't usually use. So this one here, I think I'm gonna actually add this to my shop. Um, it's funny that I got to do this one because my neighbors actually sell Herbalife. But um, this is for a client who sells Herbalife. This is actually the last coat for this one. And when it dries, I have this nice vanilla scent. This one was also fun to do. One of those freehand customization tumblers. Had a lot of fun doing this. My favorite part about this tumbler is the ombre effect that I've done with the white and the green. It's awesome. <sighs> Not to toot my own tooty toot toot porn. And then this last one was also a customization. I just love this black glitter. Raise your hand if you love glitter as much as I do. I do. I do. I have a glitter wall, y'all actually two glitter walls. One that I can constantly look at that's over top of my beautiful um, computer desk. And then I have this one to the right hand side of me. You can't really see it. It's not in the picture. But it's a complete wall of glitter. Say I'm addicted to glitter. I'm addicted to glitter. But I'm loving, loving. Love it, love it, love it. I love glitter. I love glitter. So this is what I meant. This is 20 milliliters of uh, part A and part B, so 40. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tumblers covered. And a few of them with their last coat. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more tumblers down to the bottom that I can finish. Yes, I have a whole nother rack of turners down here at the bottom. Numerous times, you can see that I'll have all of them filled with orders. And all of the top rack the drying rack also has tumblers on it. Okay, so this one down here, if you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook page, you'll know that I um, am starting to put out my Halloween tumblers. This one is a um, Stranger Things collage fan tumbler one of my favorite shows can't wait till season four to come 
I can't wait. I'm so excited. I have so many questions that need to be answered. Can't wait. So I'll be adding this to my shop. As well as the uh, Ghostbusters tumbler that you saw, I'll be adding that to my shop as well. And then this last tumbler here that I have added, if you want to take a wild guess, what do you think it will become? This is actually what it looks like before it gets all the decals. Yeah, you're right. A Disney cup. A Disney fan collage tumbler. Collage fan Disney tumbler. My favorite. You can't see how sarcastic my face looks right now. <laughs> but at the same time, I appreciate all my followers and I appreciate all my sales. So I'm not even going to go there. If I had a choice to work a full-time job all the time or make tumblers for the rest of my life, I would make tumblers. I love it. Very relaxing. It allows me to express my creative side and it calms my crazy nerves. If you didn't know, I was a Gemini, so I have a lot of crazy nerves. <laughs> Fun fact. All right, so that's the end of that. I'm gonna go grab my torch. So as I mentioned earlier, I don't usually uh, mix out the bubbles or mix slowly anymore because I have my handy dandy torch a -rooney. Right. This helps me pop all of the bubbles. And I move it back, back and forth quickly so I don't burn the epoxy. That would be awful. I did it once. And it smells so bad. Oh man. I thought my husband was going to come up here and I was going to get in trouble, but luckily he didn't. <laughs> so these two just need personalization and then they're done. And then all of these will be done. Probably shipped out. What's today? Tuesday. They'll probably be shipped out on Thursday because they need a whole another 12 hours to cure. Well, these two Friday, all of these four on Thursday. Man, that black glitter is so bomb. It's like a black glitter that's like holographic. And it's giving off this. Let's see if you can see it in the video. You can. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. It's like reflecting the light in like a rainbow type situation. It's amazing. But this one was pretty inspiring. I'm not really sure what the letter lettering means. You know, I should start doing that. Taking the time to ask what like these sort of things mean to these people. It might, you know, help me to understand why people buy items like this so I can continue to support them and give them, give my fans and followers what they need. Maybe? I don't know. But it does say ambition on it, so that was definitely something that caught my eye. Well, anyways, I am done popping the bottle the bubbles on the epoxy so um thanks for coming to watch me work if you are interested in purchasing a tumbler just reach out to me like i said you can go to glitter on purpose co that's g-l-i-t-t-e-r o-n p-u-r-p-o-s-e c-o dot com or you can find me on my Instagram page, Glitter On Purpose Co. And I also have a Facebook page, Glitter On Purpose Co. Pretty easy. So just reach out if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. See you in my next video.